in almost two years. I have never had my locks retwisted by a lactation. No hands but mine have shampooed, retwisted, interlocked these babies of mine. You wanna know why? Because I am scared shitless. Hola familia, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome queens and kings. I am AJ. Please be sure to go ahead and do us both a favor, hit that subscribe button and hit the post notification bell so you do not miss out on any locked content. Just because I'm extra, please go ahead and drop them crowns in the comments so I can see you. Hey boo. Y'all, I have never ever been to a salon to get my locks done. And there's a really big part of me that wants to. Like, you know, like I want the the relaxation, the experience, you know, like yo, yeah, yeah arm start to hurt after a while your hands like this for like an hour or whatever you know i want the pamperness but i'm so scared i'm so scared i've heard way too many stories y'all i'm afraid one product most lacticians have a staple product that they will use to lock your hair some of it is bought in a store. Some of it's some stuff they concocted in their kitchen. Sometimes it's a mixture of both. But a lot of times it is something containing some type of gel, some type of wax, some type of insoluble matter that is difficult to rinse out of the locks. I've heard it too many times. I've heard it way too many times. And for me, a person who just uses water and oils, that makes me very, very unsettled. And that, that, that kind of connects to my second thing. A lot of people who know hair have a know-it-all complex. So even if you're like, hey, I don't really use product. Can you just use oils and water? Most of the times they're like, no, this is what I know, trust, and use. I've been doing locks for 15 years. None of my other clients have ever had a problem with it. Your hair will be fine, trust me. And it's just like, do I want that fight? Do I want that problem? Like, who's right and who's wrong? Because ultimately, it really doesn't matter. You should just do what I ask because I'm paying you my money, but a lot of people want to argue with you. They just want to go back and forth with you about what they know. Ugh. I am a licensed cosmetologist. I do not practice anymore, but I'm a licensed cosmetologist. And one of the things that we used to joke about all the time is a stylist not wanting to do another stylist hair. And that's because the person in the chair, they're going to try to tell you what to do. They're going to try to tell you how to do it because stylists just know it all. Like, I know hair, I went to school, I've been doing it for a long time, so it's not much that you could tell them, and they're very, very set in their ways. That also goes with tension. So, excuse me, it's a little too tight. It's, it, it's a little it's a little too much tension. No, no, you'll be okay, this is, this is what I do, this is what I'm used to. Like, I don't know, it's just something about the thought of sitting in somebody's chair and them not responding respecting my scalp like the way that I'm wanting them to and it's just a lot of them are very set in their ways what they're doing how they're doing it and sis ain't got time the obvious one is money with me having maintained my hair for so long um and it costing so little I don't know it's just hard to cough up them coins that is like I could save that. Yeah, I just rather save some money. And also, kind of like sidebar, a, a side of that. Um, if I had not maintained my hair myself, I wouldn't know my hair myself. So you do have people that have gone to lactations their entire journey, and they don't know nothing about their own hair they know nothing about uh what products work and what products don't they know 
nothing about um, what to use when their hair is dry versus what's oily. Like they don't know their hair because they don't deal with their hair. You know, um, a lot of times you'll ask them questions. They'll be like, I don't know. You know, my lactician does everything like that. Um, and there is something great about just kind of knowing your own hair. Um, so just kind of sidebar, like that's a plus of maintaining your own locks. Lack of education. Let's just keep it a buck. Like a lot of them really don't know what they're talking about. They'll tell you wait three months to watch your starter locks. They don't know that different hair textures and types require different products, shampoos. Many times they just don't no, a lot of them have just learned from experience or they learned from somebody else who just learned from experience. And so they're just kind of just going with the motions, you know, and a lot of them, they don't know. And maybe they'll learn over time, but like, at what time did you come into that shop? Like, did you come like while they're just learning or did you come after the lessons that they've learned? And I don't want to take that gamble nah the last thing is a big one for me I don't know about you but it scares me shitless to not know what type of energy is in my hair who was the last client that they had? What type of energy did that client have? Did the loctician sh wash, I was gonna say shampoo their hands, wash their hands before they put them into my head? What type of energy does the loctician have? What is that loctician going through and what is being put into me? I'm just very, very scared of that. Um, Mm, it's just so many gambles it's so many personally i'm not willing to take those chances you could avoid these things by doing research you can research and research and research and research a person before you allow them to put hands in your head but for me it's just a lot easier to just do it myself like by the time I do all this research on a loctician. I could have retwisted my own hair 17 times. Like, it's just not worth it to me. No shade to anybody who does get their hair done by a loctician because I clearly am missing out on a super relaxing experience. I know I am, but I'll, maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll try it, but y'all, for now... My shoulder's going to be hurting just, just doing this by myself because I can't do it. What do y'all do about y'all locks? Do you always self-maintain? Do you go to a loctician? Do you switch back and forth? What are the pros and cons that you guys have found? I don't know. Talk me into getting my hair done by a loctician? No, 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 don't do that. You can't do that. But anyway, I will see y'all in my next one. Until then, be bold, be empowered, be beautiful.